Well, hello there. I'm Philip. Magnus. Yeah, that's the name. That's what I go by. I know, it's strange. Don't question it. Today I'm going to do some um, live commentary on World of Warcraft Legion. I think I'm about to finish my class quest and so I decided to take the time to talk about my experience with being a mage. Being a mage during Hallow's End, no less, which of course was an exciting thing, to say the least. Mages... I've always had a thing for mages when it comes to games of every variety. Role-playing games, pen and paper... yeah, all kinds of role-playing games, really. I can say that World of Warcraft is different. Oh, that's a cool effect. My thoughts on Legion and specifically the mage quest line is that it's very, very good. Mages are concentrated, of course, on magical things. We, at the very beginning of the quest line, went to Karazhan, which is now a location in the new 7.1 patch. Exciting, I know. I still haven't done that dungeon. And I haven't even started raiding yet, even though my item level is almost high enough to be able to actually go and start doing that. At least with the raid finder, if not in a specific guild. And so I... what? I'm busy? Ah. Oh, an imp which has evaded me. Okay, let's use my invisibility to get away from this rather annoying bug. I honestly don't know why that happened. Yeah, small bugs like this one really annoy me, but they are easily overlooked because of one simple reason. And that reason is the sheer amount of interesting quest lines that I have done, as of late, anyway. The reason I have stuck around for the past month, and I'm actually paying for a second month in a row with World of Warcraft, is because it gives me a more interesting experience that is tailored to my specific needs, my specific preferences. What are those, you might ask? Well, I'm one of those characters which care very incredibly deeply about law. Of course, law in MMOs is often overlooked for the team aspect, and that's how it used to be with World of Warcraft, especially early on. The original game, as well as its first expansion, The Burning Crusade, they really didn't have that much to do Story-wise, law-wise, if you are a single... If you are like me, if you cared for the single player more than you cared for the team content, for the PvP, for the raiding and dungeoning PvE, these were all things I really didn't care too much about. Especially because I was a kid and really small kids don't have the opportunity to talk on the mic, or at least I didn't, talk on the mic all night and raid hardcore. Hardcore raiding, really not easy to pull off when you are a wee laddie, like I was. Especially when I started playing in the original like, in actual Blizzards, the actual Blizzard server. Yeah, that's right. I was one of those blokes which originally got into World of Warcraft in pirate servers. Why? Because I couldn't allow to pay for the game and my parents certainly weren't going to pay for me. So that's what I did. 
I only got into the original Blizzard servers back in uh, 08, I believe, when Wrath of the Lich King came out. Yeah, that's the one that got me over it. I remember my mum buying the Wrath of the Lich King Collector's Edition. Of course, that was my Christmas present, and she did not know that the game would then need to uh, installments, monthly installments, to allow me access to the content, which was, of course, something she would flip out if she knew back then. Hell, she flips out now, and I'm 21, and I'm paying it with my own money which is supposed to go for snacks and for studying and scholarships, yo, they are cool. Anyway, taking the portal to the center ring, sure, let's do that, sounds exciting. My point is, I really like this thing that I'm doing right now, right here. Oh my god, Archmage Vargos, what are you doing there? I thought you were evil and corrupted, but it's nice to see you. I actually know that he's going to be a companion. Kind of weird of Blizzard to put um, a list of all possible champions which I can recruit and will recruit, I suspect, at one time or another. Yeah, it's just one of those weird WTF decisions that I have no idea why Blizzard why Blizzard went with. It's absolutely strange. But the game sure looks beautiful. It's what, twelve years old and it looks it looks good. The graphic just it ages, but it's stylistically pleasing. I absolutely love it. And I did not actually enjoy not playing World of Warcraft for so many years. I stopped playing it back right after Cataclysm launched, which would mean I stopped playing it for four years from 2012, actually four and a half years, from 2012 to 2016, later 2016. I think that's right. I can think. It's a scientific fact and you cannot disprove me. At any point, I really like the positive changes the game has made. I just think that I'm going to die now because I talk too much. But at any rate, what I mean to say is that this is fun. This newfound concentration on single player things and tasks and other lovely little imaginings. Absolutely fun. Absolutely fun. I love it. Guess I should take that arcane portal down there. I could try and use my slow fall, but. Sounds like a bad idea, you know? I like what they're doing. I'm actually considering playing other classes just to see what tidbits of lore I will unlock. And for the first time... Actually, no, not for the first time, that would be a lie. But for a very long time, I haven't really had... Oh, come on! I haven't really had a reason to want to play with an Alliance character. And now I have a level 100 character boost. And I'm seriously considering just rolling an Alliance character and experiencing the quest line from that point of view. I'm very curious to see how the young Anduin was it. Yeah, I think it was what Anduin. He became the new king. Uh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, I'm a bit... kind of confused about the lore. Too many years spent away from it. 
And let's face it, Blizzard Law, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. Do, 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 do. Good job, me. Right, back to killing people. Film Magus Aleonia. 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 Yeah, let's go with that. Hmm. Parablast in your face. Parablasts are fun. Always a favorite spell of mine. Yeah, I've got so many classes that right now I actually feel like I would enjoy playing. For the first time, look, playing a rogue looks fun to me. I've heard that a lot of the mechanics of that class have changed fundamentally. And that's, that's interesting enough for me to want to try that. Now, I don't know if I'll find the time to, because let's face it, any MMO, especially World of Warcraft, is very time-consuming. I don't know why I did that. It will give me more time to talk, five seconds at least. And as much as I want to try all these classes and see how all the different class storylines unfold, I just don't have the time. It's too lengthy. Even if I were to buy 10 level 100 character boosts, I still don't think I would have the time to level up the characters, the alts through those 10 levels in the Broken Isles. But I want to. And that, I think, speaks favorably about the state in which World of Warcraft is right now. And of course, I'm absolutely curious to see what happens with this here poor Magus. Oh, he's free, he's free. He seems to be so free. Maybe I should stop him from casting naughty, annoying little spells at me constantly. Oh, look at him. He's helping now. That's so nice. I enjoy helpers. Which reminds me, champions are good. They're better than whatever the people in Warlord of Draenor were. Yes, I should mention that I played around a month of Warlord of Draenor. Ooh, in. Oh my, poor guy. Anyway, before I talk with him, I played a month of Warlords of Draenor just before the launch of Legion. And that was fun. That was fun as well. I enjoyed it tremendously, but I really did not like the f sole focus on Orcs. This really is not um, a portion of the lore in which I'm interested in. This, though, Legion, Dragons, Magic, Fell Magic, absolutely fascinating to me. Let's talk with this guy. You have much to explain. Why have you betrayed us? I would never willingly betray our cause, Gabriella. I was gathering notes in the Nightborn Soulstone when I was contacted by an emissary of the Empyrean Society. When I arrived at their enclave, our old nemesis, Catronateer, was waiting for me. He has been in my head ever since, controlling my every word and action. Is Catronateer behind the attack on Meryl? Yes, it is Meryl he is after. He's using the Nightborn Soulstone and the power of the Nexus to drain Beryl of his power. Oh no! We must stop him! Together, you and I may be able to stop him. He's still here somewhere below. We must find him. That is quite a story. Let's go. Let me know when you are ready, and I will teleport us there. Yeah, I made that voice better than he did. <laughs> anyway, I'm ready. It appears to be heavily guarded. Perhaps we should use an invisibility spell and walk right in. I agree. Let me just... Oh, I have 25 seconds. Time enough for another lecture. Don't you just love those? Um, what does one say? Hmm. Well, I absolutely am enjoying my time. 
I hope you are enjoying my commentary. I also have this here. Obviously, I'm a fire mage. Who wouldn't be a fire mage? Obviously, all the players who are frost mages or arcane mages. But there is a strange thing I feel happens in this game. More commonly than not, mages are either fire or frost. Arcane is like that middle ground that very few people want to... Um, do their prime spec as. Maybe that's just my impression and... Yeah, we're going, we are going. See, everything's okay. Poor Drakes. But yeah, the fact that... Uh, I lost my train of thought, which is not super fun. But never you mind. <laughs> Seriously, I can't remember what I was speaking about half a minute ago. Do you ever have those blackouts? Absolutely ridiculous. But hey, at least I'm speaking. At least I'm not doing any uncomfortable pauses. Is inside just ahead. Well, he does not look good. So that's a Nightborn Soulstone. And no, poor metal. There's the Nightborn Soulstone. He's using it against an image of Meryl. Did you really think you could defeat me, little mage? As a matter of fact, I did. Oh god. Right, so concentration may become necessary here. So if I'm silent, not speaking... Oh, by the way, a weird thing. There hasn't been any music running for the entirety of this scenario, which is really, really unusual. One thing I absolutely love more like another thing I absolutely love about Legion is just the music. There's so much new and so much um, old themes which I loved. Oh, cool. Thank you, guys. Is that it? Whoa! That was easy. That was easier than I expected. Catherine Atir is safely imprisoned within the Nightborn Soul Stone. Well done, my mortal friend. We should bring that back to the Hall of the Guardian for safekeeping. Oh yes, I love me some powerful. Bravo! Thanks to you, a great weight has been lifted. Let us return to the Hall of the Guardian. All right, I love me some arcane. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. None of you are opening a portal for me. I just have to teleport myself to the bloody hall of the guardians. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, that's how it's going to be. <sighs> but seriously, I love having yet another all-powerful artifact of arcane might within my halls. And I also really quite like this here team as well. Oh, I know what we are going to do now. I like how they do that. They've done that for a few games now. Mm, you're welcome. For the better, old friend. With our newest archmage and the might of the Tiriscar, we will defeat the Burning Legion. Woohoo! You are a shining example of the strength of the new Tiriscar. To our newest archmage. I don't know. The Nightborn Soulstone. Oh my! I mean, ours, of course. <laughs> Funny. Unfortunately, we will be unable to keep that promise, New House. So long as the Soul Stone serves as Kathramatir's prison, it is best left unturned. 
I'm sure there are plenty of other powerful artifacts out there Blast. for you to find. I'm not your friend anymore. Bye, Milhouse. God, he's insane. I don't know what we are doing with him, and honestly, he is absolutely batshit crazy. I love him, but... See, I just completed my class order campaign, which is awesome and very sad at the same time. Yay! Archmage Var got... And, of course, Metal. Cool, cool, cool. A hideous weapon. Ooh. That's interesting. Let's see. Archmage, in our short time together, you have done much for our order. Through your words and deeds, we've been inspired to redouble our efforts. And I'm proud to report that we've discovered a new technique that may be of use to you. If you have a moment, Archmage, I would be pleased to show you the fruit of our research. Okay. And I... Meet me by the forge of the Guardian. Yes, of course. Your choice to seek out that artifact you wield has borne fruit. I'm not sure I've ever seen so close a bond between mage and weapon. <laughs> the victories you've achieved for the Tiris Guard, along with the resources you've gained, shall allow us to unlock the artifact's full potential. Raise cool, cool, cool. your weapon before the forge of the Guardian. Let it infuse your weapon with might. I really like that voice actor. May your weapons serve you well on the path to victory. He's amazing. Whoa. Metal! I like a totally blood elvish team that just went through. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my lord. Fantastic. The Tiris Guard must not fail. Let's see appearances. Research the full history of your artifact. Yeah, that's the one I want. Hmm. Every artifact trait. That will be... Yeah, okay. How about this one? This one I don't like. I'm going for this one. Yeah. And I don't think I'm too far from this. But who knows. Anyway, purple is my preference. Even if this looks substantially substantially cooler yes 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 good very good ah this has been a fun little video right i think so too thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope i enjoyed oh wait i know i did hmm anyway hope to see you next time bye